ready for another lesson. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to Back Row Banter, your favorite casual movie talk podcast. I'm one of your hosts, Adam Schwartz, and on this week's episode, we'll be talking about the movie Deadpool and Wolverine. But of course, before we get to any of that, I am joined today by not dead Nathaniel, Nathaniel Gingrich. <laughs> what up, folks? I am not dead Nathaniel, and I am not the, dead. You saw him die on screen last last episode. Nathaniel died on pod. It was canon, um, and now he's back. I was just going to ask, is it like... Are you alive because you just haven't died yet, or are you alive because you're immortal? Spite, yeah, spite keeps right. me going. Mm-hmm. Just too bitter to die. That makes sense. Yeah. That's I'm not a good character I'm not trait to have. To die. I can't, I can't <laughs> die yet. I'm too angry. Also joining us today is Two Swords Nathaniel. Nathaniel King, or sorry, yes. Ty. Two Swords <laughs> Ty. There we go. Tyler Vidalis. <laughs> It's a late one. What can I say? I'll uh, take how's it. it going, Ty? I'm good. Did you, good. Do you like your two new swords? They're shiny. Dude, if I had two matching katanas, mm. I don't know if like anything better could happen as like a gift. If anything around you remained not chopped. I'd be playing Fruit Ninja in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that's a throwback game right there. <laughs> Sounds like a quick way to lose a couple toes. Or you think you can still download that now in, in uh, oh, app stores? Oh, for sure. Yeah, probably. So. Let me look. We have the app store right here. I'm for not sure, sure if they like a uh, Flappy Bird at that, right? Where you can't even download say. Flappy Bird. Anymore. I have Flappy well, Bird yeah. on one of my old phones. Dude. Yeah. Dude, I have that on my iPad and I never delete it. I'm never getting rid of it. I don't know if it's Hopefully even playable on, the, right, on that phone not. anymore. I would assume it is because <laughs> yeah. as long as you're on Wi Fi and, and yeah. the data is on the phone, then you should be fine. Um, mm-hmm. but you know, sometimes internet don't internet. This is true. Uh, yeah, Fruit true. Ninja, I can download right now. Uh, I, I knew it. It's a great game. Man, it's a fun it's game. True. Sometimes you might accidentally it's slice a bomb, there. and then that's a bad. That that was bad. That's how you lost Fruit Ninja. That is bad. Also joining us today, running with the squadron, of course, is Big Bloody Blake, Blake Holder. Hey, what up, what up? What's going on, man? How's Milwaukee treating you? Uh, Not bad. Not bad yeah. at all, man. So, are you there for work, or work? what are you doing up there? No, so I'm not here for work. Uh, I'm here for, to visit Haley. So oh, okay. I'm going to word, word. State and seeing for some time. So, yeah, weather's shitty right now, though. It's thunderstorming and everything, so. How's the weather? Uh, yeah, there, are some, there were some storms here and there uh, today. Okay. Uh, kind of sporadic, but I have not seen any rain myself today. But I know there's been some warnings going out saying mm. it's raining right now. I don't okay. know. Is it raining by you guys, Ty, Nathaniel? It was raining. I think it has now stopped. Yeah, it was terrible up here earlier. It's yeah. Curious. Yeah, it hasn't been too bad, but like I said, intermittent storms. Um, it's yeah. just spring. Lots of. Yeah. Lots of like, I feel like flash storms recently. Like they kind of I feel like in Chicago, a lot of the times it'll be like overcast for a day or two, then we'll have storms and then it'll all clear mm-hmm. up. But like, I feel like recently it's just been like, oh, it's sunny. And then like, there's a storm that night and <laughs> like just out of nowhere. Yeah. Well, there is something that's called a global warming. Ah, right? you think that has anything to do with Actually, it? Actually, I don't know. Is, is that even real? Can anyone confirm? Can anyone confirm? Really? <laughs> I saw a, a documentary about it called Twisters, I think, like a week or two ago. Oh, for sure, for sure. I saw that too. Really Yo, how funny is it? Like right before we started, tomatoes. Adam's like no tangents, and then right. we're like we're we're off yeah, the right. already. You know what? This one this one was worth it. It brings attention to a very troublesome topic. I think they're all worth it. I thought every day. All our tangents are are pretty. Beautiful. You, I, I would. You know, maybe call them like pretty good, like movie, like witty banter. Honestly, I agree. I agree. I mean, I'm always, I'm always one to kind of just go with the flow. That's why, that's why I don't cut off the tangents too much. However, I am probably gonna have sure. to cut this one off pretty quick today, as it is a late, 
late episode recording. This is the latest episode we've recorded in quite a while. Oh yeah, um, true. Start starting the recording at ten thirty p.m. on a Thursday night is not typically we're, how we do we're things. Doing it for you, listeners. But we are doing it for you. This is of course Deadpool and Wolverine, a big movie to talk about and a big review to do. And of course, of course, is. Episode 200 of Back Row Banter, ladies and gentlemen. Nathaniel, hit the applause button for me. Whoa, 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 but anyway, it's still cool to hit that 200 episode milestone. So, uh, thank you all for listening. If you uh, have listened to one episode, or maybe you've listened to 200 or 200 plus, if you count the bit of sizzle episodes, whatever it is, thank you guys for listening. We really do appreciate it. Um, yeah. Without further ado, let's get into this review. Nathaniel, if listener here is new, or maybe they've just forgotten, can you give them a rundown of how the review segment works? What up, folks? If you're uh, perhaps newer, you've just forgotten the way the review segment works here on Back Row Banner is it is split into two sections. There's the non-spoiler section, and then there's the spoiler section. Pretty self-explanatory. Uh, in the non-spoiler section, we'll go over the movie itself, who wrote it, who's in it, who directed it, all that good stuff. And in the spoiler section, we'll go over any big twists, any big, um, you know, spoilers, which I guess in this one, there'll be a couple different ones. And... Um, We'll go into our deeper thoughts about the movie itself. We do have to decide uh, if we would recommend this movie or not. There is our, there is no nuance on the internet, so it's got to be a yes or no. And um, if you don't want to have anything spoiled for you, check the show notes, uh, see when we come back in, and go ahead and skip over that spoiler, spoiler section, but come back for when we rank it on the entropy list. Adam, tell me about Deadpool and Wolverine. I would love to. This is a new movie, of course. Rated R probably about the hardest R rating you'll get in a movie. Uh, two hours and eight minutes with a run uh, with an IMDb rating of 8.2 out of 10. Um, I just wanted to know, and I was about to say probably the hardest R you can get, but I stopped myself. So I'm pretty proud. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I thought you were going there. And I was like, is he going to get I know. I, it, I, I was about to, and I was like, I yeah. need to pause, <laughs> re- rethink, take a step back. Um, so yeah, I did catch myself there. We're, we're good though. We cleared it. Um, directed by Sean Levy, who, uh, has also directed a pod favorite. I believe, uh, the movie real steel also with Hugh Jackman. That is one of Tyler's faves. It's a great movie. dude. One of mine too. That is a great movie. Um, and then he's done quite a few other things that you've probably heard of. Um, but he, from my Gander at his IMDb has not really touched a Deadpool project yet, so this is his first one. Uh, and it's written by... Let me pull up the full writer's list. They It's extended here. Uh, Ryan Reynolds, Rhett Reese, Paul Wernick, and Zeb Wells, and Sean Levy. And it's based on characters by Rob Leefield and Fabian Nicia? Nicia. Uh, Nicisa. I don't know. Uh, and it's starring Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, uh emma corin uh matthew mcfay oh man mcfadden do you know how to pronounce that nathaniel mcfadden um he you might know from succession fun seeing him here um and then we'll go uh daphne king and john uh, john favreau here i don't want to go too much further down this list because there are some surprise uh appearances Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, I definitely don't want anyone uh, spoiled because there are definitely some cameos that pop up where you're like, oh, this is awesome. This is great to see this person here. And I would never want to take that moment away from the listener. So here we are. Uh, That is going to be your main cast of characters that uh, we are seeing here. The IMDb summary reads as follows. Deadpool is offered a place in the Marvel Cinematic Universe by the Time Variance Authority, but instead of recruit. Uh, but instead recruits a variant of Wolverine to save his universe from extinction. Pretty good summary. This actually hits the nail on the head. Yeah, that kind of gives you the setup of like, obviously the last Deadpool movies were under Fox. Sure. Uh, Fox was then bought out by Disney. 
This is true. And then now this is the first Deadpool movie where Deadpool is part of the MCU. Uh, and so, how does that all work? Well, TVA. Just solves everything. Multiverse, TVA, <laughs> whatever you want to do. Uh, it just, you know, you can do whatever you want now. So, that's essentially the setup of how they bring Deadpool into the MCU and how... Um, Wolverine and Deadpool are together. I mean, I guess spoilers for a now eight-year-old movie almost. Uh, but Wolverine died in Gosh, Logan. That old? A seven? Twenty seventeen? I think it is. Yeah, it is. 20, yeah, I, Logan's twenty seventeen. Because I, I remember right. seeing that. Because I know Get Out is twenty seventeen, and I remember seeing that in a double feature in the theater where I went from Get think, Out to Logan or Logan to Get Out, yeah. whatever it was. But it was back. I think back. you're right. Yeah, that's early early 17 right like march yep. april something like that February, uh, march, march april march i think yeah. yeah um but yeah hugh jackman's back we never thought that would happen but uh, i guess money money talks so uh what are we thinking here fellas obviously we've done deadpool one review on pod um i don't sure think we've have. done two i actually don't think i have seen two or if i have it's been long enough where i don't remember oh wow but yeah. I don't know if I ever saw the second one after we watched the first one. Um, hmm. But I can't, I can't fully remember. But there were some characters in this that like were his friends that I was like, I don't know if I recognize you. So I don't think I've seen the second one. So I'm kind of jumping in here. Now, that okay. being said, I feel like I, I've got the gist of Deadpool. I don't know if I missed too much in the second one. That could be super pertinent information here. Um, but anyway, how, how are we feeling? Because obviously we were all pretty positive on the first Deadpool We've all been pretty negative on the MCU for the past two years or so. Who has um, right. Uh, so where where are we at? Uh, I'll toss it to Ty, probably our, our resident Deadpool, uh, probably our highest fan here. What are, what are you thinking, Ty? Um, I had a lot of fun with it. Mm. Uh, I do think there are certain things that this is going to suffer from, um, which we can get into, but overall. I think you kind of know what you're signing up for with these. I think these will kind of stay pretty consistent, like the Guardians, as far as likability, sure. um, rewatchability, and and kind of falls to the wayside if you were kind of made in a a really bad time for your genre, but you still you still well, managed to do a good job. And this one definitely got hit by the writer strike and everything for as well sure. Too, last yep. Year. Yeah worth pointing out agreed um but yeah i mean it's ryan reynolds and uh huge jack man <laughs> um on screen which they've been trying to do for you know since the first one how long has that been eight years somewhere in there yeah yeah that was the first, 2016 was the first one yeah and uh so yeah you know, I I think uh, I think they did a good job. I had a lot of fun. I definitely found myself laughing quite a bit. I think that's what you sign up for when you do one of these. Um, Facts. Gore was fucking awesome as it always is. Um, kind of puts you in the sense of like a live action anime, mm. um, which is always fun mm -hmm. for me to to look at from a certain standpoint. And uh, and yeah, just a uh, just great job for the most part all around. Uh, like I said, I think this will suffer from things, but. Definitely go see it. I'm I'm definitely a recommend. It's definitely worth a worth a watch if you like the Deadpool movies and enjoy seeing Ryan Reynolds on screen like I do. And um and yeah, but I'm not also you know gonna shame you, but I'm a I'm a recommend for sure. This will yeah. still be a blast. Uh, when it comes out to to VOD somewhere, uh, you know, within the next three months. <laughs> yeah, at the rate they're going. Sure. Yeah. <clears throat> um so yeah yeah i'm a recommend for sure um we can definitely get into some stuff in a little bit but uh i'm curious to see what blake thinks yeah um <laughs> i figured i'd go into this probably lowest on the totem pole at least prior to watching the movie right just because i'm kind of out on the mcu as a as a whole did but, you like um, the first deadpool actually i did yeah. yeah, I did. Although it's strange, though, because this is obviously the third one, and I want to say they're all three directed by different people. Yep. Um, but the first one's Tim Miller. I can't think of who did the second one. David Leach. Uh, it's the, yeah, it's the guy who did you. Uh, Bullet Train, right? 
Yeah, in the fall. It guys. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it's oh, yeah. that's just kind of an interesting fun fact there. But uh, yeah, overall, man, I, I I was invested right as soon as we get in. Ryan Reynolds was one of those like A tier casting for Deadpool. I don't really oh, know who else you could have got to to portray that, um, to break the fourth wall and things of that nature. So, uh, yeah, it's I, I was in very funny. Uh, this is one I caught in a pretty full theater on Saturday night, uh, which was a, a the way you'd want to see a movie like this, right? For the part. so there's a lot of laughs, good action. Um, the opening scene that's to I think that's in sync, right? Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. It's just like peak comedy, um, and then there's a ton of cameos in here that will have disclose. Um, come spoilers, <laughs> but like didn't expect any of that, and honestly, it was mind blowing. That I mean, granted. I saw it opening weekend um but i was able to avoid that like i had no idea it was even right to be, sure to be transparent um but as most people know we're not really the trailer teaser type of folks kind of you know what i mean kind of going blind as much as you can uh, yeah. but yeah i'm i'm in it's funny seeing hugh jackman back as well is awesome um and yeah there's some cameos in there so yeah i'm i'm all in i'd recommend this is definitely the best marvel movie i've seen since I don't even know. Probably Endgame. All right. Fair if enough. I had to guess, right? I think I like this more than No Way Home. It probably interchangeable. You know yeah. what I mean? A lot of fan <laughs> service for both of those movies, but definitely interchangeable. And No Way Home is what twenty twenty one. Yeah, that sounds right. But what about the other one? I'll challenge you with is Guardians three. Oh, I like this more than Guardians three. Guardians three okay. is awesome though. I'm not okay. going to lie. And people do kind of quietly forget that trilogy and the MCU. Yeah. Dude, One I of the better trilogies. For I sure. do not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But shout out Guardians 3. Yeah. Big Groot fan. I have a stuffed Groot at home. Yeah, it's you cute. are a big Groot fan. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, that's you are, uh, that's my you are recommend. I'll the rest for spoilers. Yeah, for sure. All right. Cool. Um, we'll go to we'll go to Nathaniel. Yeah, I uh I got to see this one yesterday, um, and a late viewing in the week for you. It was, yeah. I was. I had a another late night at work earlier this week where we were setting up uh, some new Lego stuff. But anyways, um, <clears throat> I this movie has made me like readjust my view on like the Marvel, the MCU once again. Sure. I feel like um cuz I feel like it's at this point it's it's outgrown just calling it like the superhero genre or something like it's sure. so big at this point and so sprawling and like the storytelling is so episodic it's just for sure it's completely its own thing and what I realized like what this has started to remind me of in its pro wrestling <laughs> and like it's a great comparison like in that like uh, you don't really care about the story all that much you care about seeing your favorite participants come back sure. and like have a different look <laughs> or have a different like kind of little style or something yeah and then you know maybe it'll be four or five years and then they'll show up again for another 30 minute you know inclusion or something in the ongoing <laughs> yeah. story but like 90 years yeah for for real like it's it just it and like it goes beyond that where like you have like ryan reynolds and like R robert downey jr who like never really kind of break character now anymore like yeah. they're kind of always playing 100 those those people as well too and it's that kind of like element of kayfabe and it's and i think it it also gets more into that element of like Oh well, they're just dumb movies. Turn your brain off and have fun, bro. Versus like, no, right. I want something more. It's like sure. it is that same. Ele it's that same element of entertainment. I feel like that is yeah, I get that. Th that for sure. is like between the two of those. So, um, yeah, they're here to hear first, folks. The Marvel movies are now pro wrestling. Um, it's the WWE. Okay, and I had a good time with this one. You know, I'm uh, for tonight's or you know marvel's saturday night raw or whatever it is yeah um was was really fun uh this week that's good that's um good. and you know it was great to see hugh back on this one um i think ryan hugh reynolds backman. is hugh backman um and 
Uh, I think Ryan Reynolds is good. I want, shout out Emma Corrin, I think, is like the big yeah. heavy in this one as well, too. I thought she was really good. And um, yeah, they clearly went to Matthew McFade and were like, do your succession character, but a little wackier. <laughs> And, and so, British-ish. Yeah, and more, and use your natural accent. <laughs> like, yeah. Um. So yeah, I'm I'm gonna recommend. I think a lot of people will like this. I think the the cinephiles will be like, this is a pile of hot trash. Sure. But like you know the the Marvel fans, the ones that are still out there, will will definitely. Which enjoy. there are some. Yeah, and I think like the again, this is always taken with a grain of salt. Of like, we see a movie every week. No, very right. very yeah. few people on the planet. Do true, that. very true. And majority right. of them be like, "Yeah, I saw X Men three when it came <laughs> out." You know, um, mm-hmm. so the, I think the like people who aren't us can go to this and have a good time as well too. I yeah, piggybacking agree. off of that, I definitely pulled up to the theater with like a crowd that I was like, "Why are there like so many people here? Like, pack, parking lots packed and like." There's like four people waiting to get through the door. Like, I don't know. I was just like, why are there so many people here? I was like, oh, wait, Deadpool is kind of kind of an event movie. Like, right. people are coming out right. for Deadpool. Like, I forgot that was a thing. Um, but that being said, uh, you know, I, I had I had a relatively good time with this. I, I think this cemented the fact where I'm like, oh, like, I just, like, Nathaniel, you said, can't take these seriously anymore like there's no point in me trying to think that marvel will give me the same enjoyment i had for the infinity saga like it's just it's too far gone it's too far gone like i will enjoy the spider-man movies i'll enjoy these like deadpool movies i'll enjoy some of the event movies i think rdj coming back as dr doom which we'll maybe talk about (laughs) at the end of the pod but like that could potentially get me back as much as i don't want it to that could get me back (laughs) in a seat to watch an yeah. Avengers movie, but um, they're sick I think for that, by the way, they're so sick for that. It's not even. It's yeah. been like five years, dude. Like I, I knew it was for gonna sure. happen at some point, but like it's been five years. Like you're already calling yeah. back to RDJ, but we'll talk about that a- after this review. Um, so like yeah, like maybe I'll go see some Marvel stuff, but like I'm not gonna watch another TV show. I'm not gonna be their opening weekend for every movie the and, shows and are hard I, man I not even see. the shows at this point are hard i enjoyed the first couple that they were doing when it was like manageable to keep up with where it was like once every few months but then it was just like two airing at one time it and like so just all this stuff it's a lot and to it, keep up with and it all ties which is the mm-hmm. hard part and right and yeah it's just like it's it's one of those things where it's it like you said it's too much to kind of keep track of and too much for the hard part yeah. is is like the the hardcore marvel fans that are out there um for one props to you because i don't know how you're doing it um yeah but i'm sorry two it's weird in a sense that the tv shows mixed with the movies have become so much of like reminiscence of comic books there are so many different issues of comic books of so many different superheroes doing going through so many different stories, and so it's just like nobody gives a fuck in that. Yeah. Like you you jump around yeah. to the, each of these characters doing something crazier in a different universe every single time you read a different issue of a different comic book, um, and so it's just it's it's a little wild in the sense that there's so much, um there's so much to digest in the actual comic book universe that this in comparison is like still so small, but it doesn't matter what they do anymore. It's just, they could do literally whatever the fuck they want. Yeah. I mean, then that, that was a thought that ran through my mind watching this tie that, that you bring up where it's like, this does almost now feel like comic books where like, there's just an event that happens and like random people will show up and, or, or like you pick up a, a comic book, like, if you're just starting to read comics, like, okay, well, where do you get on on Spider-Man? Well, there's 11 different versions and t- stories told of Spider-Man. Like, what right. version do you start with? Like, what version do you go with? And, like, I feel like MCU at this point has grown, almost grown to, like, a microcosm of that. And the same um, with the WWE. Just, <laughs> and the same with the WWE. It's all it's all interlinked. Cells interlinked. Um, interlinked. <laughs> but, uh yeah that's it's it's definitely getting to the point where it's like bigger than than it can sustain and and what i don't know and i guess what we'll find out is like is there a market for movies 
that are a similar style to comic books where it's just kind of like events that kind of happen and like random tangential stories and like can that style of storytelling be sustained in movies my guess is maybe not because comics don't cost 200 million dollars a piece to make so i i don't know um that remains to be seen but um yeah uh anyway back to back to the movie in itself um did have a good time with this one regardless uh it is really funny it's more deadpool and 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 what i i I do appreciate the time off that i've had between watching that first one and watching this one and i feel like if you watch the second one when it came out you probably have the same level of appreciation where it's like enough time has passed where like this was fresh for me whereas like i'm glad we're not getting deadpools every two years because i think i would get over that pretty quickly but the style of humor every three to four to five years like ah yeah it's 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 been a good time ryan reynolds can't remember the last new ryan reynolds movie uh i have seen so uh, I, yeah, I, I what, what's you. the movie we did um what was like what is that a 2022 something it was a summer joint um there was a nice guy that's what i'm thinking of free guy that's ryan oh, yeah, free guy free guy free guy yeah. Free guy, uh, that's what I'm thinking of. Thank you. Free guy, yeah. which I, I never saw. I don't think we reviewed that one, but I, I remember. We did I hate that movie. <laughs> I remember Nathaniel saying it was terrible. Um, so yeah, no, but I, I had a good time here. Um, it's funny if you like other Deadpool movies, you'll you'll definitely like this one. Um, yeah, I think we think we've said enough. There is actually a decent amount to get into in spoilers, so I'm excited. Um, if you've not seen Deadpool, though, you definitely don't want it spoiled for you. There's a lot here to talk about in terms of spoilers, so uh, definitely skip over the spoiler segment. If you want to do that, check the episode description where I left a timestamp you could jump to, where you'll be taken to a ranking of the movie up upon our entropy list. Uh, Nathaniel, uh, spoiler noise, please. Stupid. I'd have played it. Good. Should Good. Go I heard down. one cricket. I heard I heard a cricket. <laughs> it was several. It was several? Okay. <clears throat> Good to know. Good to know. Some motherfuckers. Yeah. So <laughs> that was actually hilarious when he said that, though. And I'm so upset because my theater, there wasn't a lot of audible laughs to that scene. Sure. And I feel like there should have been way more. But I think that's just indicative of that. There's not a ton of people who watched the 1997 Blade film, <laughs> or whatever it was, right? It was, um, so but that dope. was that was hilarious. Yeah. No, dude, I I lost my shit when I when Blade came on screen. I can't even imagine what your reaction was, dude. Dude, yeah, when he was, was coming in, and like I saw him, and he's just fucking yeah. Wesley sniping, and oh, I'm yeah. like, yeah. yo, dude, I'm like, let's go. <laughs> yeah, it looks great. Um, yeah, but yeah, this this movie is is all over the place, and. I, I guess it's kind of similar to, to how you feel sometimes. Like, I didn't really know what to expect. But then having the knowledge that this is the first Deadpool MCU movie, and it's like, how did I think this would be about anything besides the fucking multiverse? And sure. just a ton of shit going on. Yeah. Right? And I fucking failed myself to not think of that. And that's, in essence, the entire plot. And how they bring all the characters back. So, yeah, I, I guess, mean... were you all familiar with that? Was I just out of the loop on spoilers and kind of the pre prelude to the movie and whatnot, or I guess how does everyone feel about that? I knew this was going to go full multiverse. Yeah, it was felt like okay. um, pretty. Yeah, the, I kind of saw that coming as well. This is this is my biggest gripe with this movie. Uh-huh. If you do not pay attention to the shows, if you don't watch anything other than the movies, mm. you are going to be fucking lost because the right. void sure. is introduced in loki season one or whatever one. And never he does yeah, call that out doesn't TVA he yeah too like it's a huge yeah. part of this movie and it, so yeah. not understanding Which, any of that you'll mm. you'll be like i don't even know what the fuck i'm watching i have no idea what's going on sure. if right. i took right. leah to that movie she'd be like I, think, I don't I don't enjoy this because it's just I don't know what the fuck is happening. Do you think people are more forgiving of that though because it's a comedy? Like and it leans more I think, into that? Well, I think a hundred percent like that yeah. it pulls a lot of like the not like average person out of it. Yeah. Like they don't they they 
they you're can watch it and as still a comedy and laugh. just laugh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But as far as the plot, you have well, uh, the plot's not really anything, anyways. Though I, well, that's why I'm like, I don't. There's, but yeah. So that's my only gripe is if you don't watch TV shows or you know have no idea what's going on there, you're gonna be lost. I watched the Ryan Reynolds, Hugh Jackman, Hot Ones. I did too. And in that, oh, okay. In that, Ryan Reynolds talks about like his theory for like people, like they don't necessarily remember, or like audiences are inured to to spectacle, and they don't necessarily remember like your big action moments, but yeah. they remember character beats and that kind of thing. And I think, I think that's very. I mean, I think that's a that's a smart way of think going about filmmaking, but I also think that like you can see that where like in this movie it's almost too much, where like sure. you're not thinking enough about the structure and everything, and you're only thinking about the character moments, and it just becomes a series of character moments, which are nice. It's back to back to back to back, to back. right? Which are nice. It's but fucking slammed. They're they're like that's you you can't have a a movie that's all rise. It's got to have. <laughs> Yeah, it's a build yeah. and a natural yeah. ebb and flow to things. Just because, you, like, you can't have a mix of just you know all hard rock songs or something. Yeah. Like, you, I mean, unless you're like a really big. Creed Why not, fan. Nathaniel? Uh, yeah, it's true. Creed's fucking sick, dude. Uh, if you're a big Creed fan, you know, <laughs> but Creed's not afraid to slow it down. Scott Stapp, no, will, but it's still fucking, a, still fucking rock, dude. It's fucking rock, mate. <laughs> um, anyways. Yeah, I think uh, I think this movie does. It doesn't have that structure to it. Really. No, and th- and that's really where. It, like, I don't even. Again, I don't even view this almost as a movie. It's just it's Marvel. Yeah, I feel like I'm night. watching like Star Wars Visions. Like, there's just a bunch of little mini episodes. That... But again, and again, I'm more <laughs> forgiving of that because it's a Deadpool movie. Who yeah. like again, his whole kind of thing is just comedy in general, and like. I feel like a, like a, an undercover brother. I'm not going to look at it and be like, "What's the story here?" kind sure. of thing, you know. Yeah. So here, let me let me ask you this: then. Do you think that's more so because it's a comedy or because it's fourth wall breaking? It's both. I think it's both. Yeah, I think yeah. That, that that's both part of it for sure. Um, you know, I know people didn't watch the shows, but She Hulk broke the fourth wall as well too. And, she did. Uh, Man, was, yeah, I did not watch that one. Pretty good. She tried. Yeah, it was pretty good. Yeah, though. I haven't watched a single Marvel show. I thought that I liked She Hulk. I thought it was actually really funny. Um, anyways, uh, <laughs> <laughs> but back to back to Deadpool and Wolverine. Um, Hugh Jackman's doing great. He's uh, I love him. He's acting his dick off, yeah. and like cool. he's Steven he's very guys. much. Um, better than almost everyone else in do you, there. Do you guys feel cheated by him coming back after Logan like he did? I made my peace with I mean, him yeah, a while but ago. it's like Marvel, yeah. so it's like, I don't care. Right. I was right. never you know one I mean? of those people that like was like, Logan's the best movie alive. Um, I thought it was good, but I was never like super like, no, dude, th- this is pinnacle like Marvel. I guess it was more, I, I read it as it felt like it was him it was his choice to be like, sure. I'm done. Like, I want to be done. And then and now it feels like, well, if you're, actually, if you're going to pay me a lot of money. I was going to say, it all comes out of money. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, we can pay you $75 I, I, million. Dollars. I did just get about. divorced. <laughs> there, so. there is yeah. part of me, though, that that Hugh is a genuine person. He seems that way. Yeah. And so, I mean, obviously the money, like, money talks, no matter what. True. Um. But I think after all the years of Reynolds constantly poking at the fact that he wanted to do something with Hugh, obviously well, had something then, to play into it. And because even yeah. on like the hot ones, he says like, "Yeah, I I saw the opportunity for comedy yeah. as soon as I saw the first Deadpool, and I really had retired, but I think I wanted to come back." For yeah. That. So, you know, but even like the the chemistry between them yeah. the like constant yeah. like friendship no, it's, it's like good, you can it's a good foil yeah it's a you great... can definitely see that i don't i don't feel like there's any uh i don't think it's all about money for you i no. think he's definitely and i think it shows on screen too i think he's having a blast i think yeah um, i, I think can agree with that yeah with the with the costume it looks so good you get the hood pull over and i'm like yep i'm so glad they did his eyes like deadpool's um, because in the comic books, that's like his eyes He's are like whited out. Yeah. And so I'm like, dude, it's yep. so good. Um, so yeah, I fucking I I had a blast with all that 
it was very uh, reminiscent of the feelings I had when you see Andrew Garfield, Tobey Maguire, sure. and Holland on screen. Um, mm-hmm. So yeah, I think that's a, a huge fan service to the the older generation of what this movie is trying to appeal sure. to. Yeah, I mean, I think the very clever, obviously, to not make it a Marvel cinematic cameo fest. You're not getting variants of Tony Stark. Um, the only variant we get of Chris Evans is the, the like Fox. the Human Torch, yeah, the Human yeah. Torch one, yeah. Um, which as soon as which he was pretty up, funny, that, yeah. that yeah. setup joke. Is, uh, <laughs> did you guys, so did you guys, I full blown, so hard. like think he was going to be Captain America? No, I knew immediately. I did. Yeah. I, I did. I it fooled me. Honestly, I did too. I'm with Adam. I thought it was going to no. be because because like my I first forgot thought was Captain America. The back of my head was potentially. Or potentially fantastic for right? people Human people Torch. forget I I yeah. forgot well i i did in the yeah. moment like i knew it i knew it if you asked me on the street like i know that fact but like in the moment completely forgot because right. it was also i don't know if this was before or after rdj was announced but i was like i think it was Same i think weekend. i saw this yeah. yeah, I think I saw this after that was announced. So, like, in my mind, I was like, oh, RDJ is coming back. And then I saw Chris Evans, and I was like, oh, they're bringing Chris Evans back as Captain America already. Like, okay, cool. Yeah. And then and then it just completely slipped my mind that, that he would be Human Torch there, which is yeah, awesome. Was which was, I love and they, that. And they so show much. enough blue in his suit from kind of the yeah. rag, yeah. makeshift, you know, clothing he has on, where you're like, uh, maybe. It's so, um, so, yeah, that was that was good for sure. You get uh, you get Electra, Electra, obviously. Um, yeah. Channing Tatum as Gambit is that hilarious. So that was good. really unexpected. Yeah. Um, I I have known through the Marvel universe and interviews and things like that. Channing Tatum has been dying to well, play been, Gambit. He's been tr- they tried to make that movie for like seven years and, and it just uh, never got made. It was I thought it was fucking great. I had a blast. Yeah, with it, was, it. it was it was very, it was very good. fun. I enjoyed all of those cameos. I thought the X twenty three cameo was the best. I was bummed that it was left or that it was revealed in like the final trailers, basically. Sure. Um, yeah. Which just like I didn't even watch those, but they just made their way to Twitter and like you, you just saw. Them. I didn't. I never watched them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not uh, on Twitter yeah, too I'm, much. I'm with Ty. But um, I don't watch trailers anymore. I I don't think like I think going forward in the Marvel universe, don't just use her. She's great. Just let her be yeah. Wolverine. Like, there's no reason to like do, do the re- whole yeah, recast. Uh, do the whole uh, um, fuck Hawkeye, Hawkeye right. TV show. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah just bring oh, her, no. bring her over onto the team. Hey, the Hawkeye show is actually good too. It, I actually was, had yeah, a lot of fun. I was just going along the lines of like, I got it's a got an apprentice, and right. now they, I gotta, now I gotta, I gotta teach this person. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that show's got Florence Pugh. It's not bad. There you go. It sure does. It sure um, does. But yeah, that, uh, cameos were fun. Um, I really liked the effect of the mind meld thing where she would just stab oh, her, her hands. Oh, fucking hands in there. Oh, yeah, that was good. Yeah. <laughs> Raw. Looks incredibly painful, though. <laughs> it was so cool. Raw. I was just going to bring yeah, that up cool. that you mentioned earlier. Uh like shout out Emma Corrin, mm. like she does carry a lot of this movie. I think costume design is great. Why I is, think she did a great job. Why is whenever a girl is bald in a movie, they're British? I don't know. <laughs> Are there a lot of bald women in Britain? That's or across the pond. Oh, but like it's you, a unique occupation of that. <laughs> like, so I'm thinking like Natalie Portman in V for Vendetta. Oh sure. Like you know her, yeah. but Emma she Corrin wasn't like this. bald bald. True. She had a little. She had a little fuzz. A little peach fuzz. But yeah, uh, you know. I guess Eleven's not British in the show, but you know, she is in real life. Oh, oh, okay. I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm like Eleven. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I'm things. just saying there, there's something about bald British women. The, the, uh, in in the Marvel universe, ancient one. Uh, oh yeah, sure. <laughs> yep, she's very bald. <laughs> <laughs> Keeps didn't want to say Tessa Thompson and Isla Fisher, and it's not either of those things. <laughs> uh, Isn't that Tilda Swinton? Tilda Swinton, thank you. Yeah. Anyways. Um, yeah, and then they, they even do enough fan service where you do ultimately get to see, what did we get, two Deadpool Wolverine fights, if I'm not mistaken? 
Yeah. Right. There's yeah. one in the car. The van fight was right, fucking this, hilarious. Close quarters one. The van fight was awesome for sure. And I thought there was another one. Am I mistaken? No, they yeah, they at the start. Yeah, yeah there, there was like by the Fox three. logo. Yeah. Yeah. Which okay. was hilarious. That might have been my favorite bit in the movie is when they land the, and they the, see the, the Fox, Fox logo. Yeah, they see the Fox <laughs> logo in the void. That's so good. I laughed yeah. so hard when I saw that. Um, that may have been the best running joke. I'm with you on that. And the yeah. whole uh, Mad Max Furiosa. <laughs> yeah. Where he's like, well, that may be IP infringement. <laughs> Dude, that, that shit is so funny. <laughs> yeah, for sure. That I, was um, I love that the, whole segment is good. They have like yeah. the row of motorcycles. Mm. Uh, like, of course, yeah. <laughs> yeah like they did. Very borderline. Dude, so funny. Uh, have you guys at one seen point that he yet? says like, no, I still haven't. You guys are it. fucking bums, dude. You guys are <laughs> fucking. Kidding yeah, me. I'm. I'm sorry, bro. I have. Oh and, and I didn't and even like, laugh at that joke. The fact that I didn't. No, see it. I. I felt no. In the theater, I was like, shame. damn it. I don't. I don't get it as much as I wanted to get it because I haven't. <laughs> so I'm just gonna it. laugh. So everybody. I'm gonna laugh I'm anyway. <laughs> yeah, exactly. I'm gonna laugh anyway. But like, damn, Stolen I really should watch that movie by now. Me and Blake did get together, but we did not watch Furiosa. We probably yeah. should have though. Uh, cursing you. I, 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 that, that's on my list for sure. It's it, I'm I'm it. I'm it. I don't care. Also, don't watch it. Work. Don't Funny fucking enough. watch it. Don't watch yeah. it. I'm gonna watch it. It's an it's a numbered don't. episode. It has to go on the entry list. I All right, I'm gonna watch it. No. Thor, Thor cries about yeah. me, so it's fine. <laughs> oh, the the Chris Hemsworth joke was hilarious as well. Yeah, did. Uh, mm -hmm. the, the Thor joke was funny. Just a lot of good, like, oncoming or ongoing yeah. bits throughout the movie, man. Yeah. They, they uh, really Marvel good. Jesus. Gore is always great uh, in these. I think they do uh, I, a great service to just how much he does not fucking care. I think the action fight scenes themselves were better in one and two, to be honest with you. I don't disagree with that. I yeah. think part of it too is like the Just shock factor one. is kind of over. It doesn't really, you're not really well, surprised yeah. by anything that he does because sure. it's always fucking insane movement yeah, because, and it's always in like the craziest way. So but it's it, just like. It wasn't that. I'm, I'm remembering of the like the prison break scene in uh, in Deadpool 2. The where second he, one. Yeah, where he like yeah. falls off of a table and like his neck cracks and like he's like his back's bent over sure. and stuff. And like it's like much more visceral and weighty. And in this, it's like mm -hmm. it, there was a lot of like him and Wolverine just like tearing into each other. Like you could see the dust ball cloud like sure. around them kind of thing, you know, like it's an old cartoon. And they just they were just mm -hmm. kind of slashing each other up a whole bunch. And it wasn't like Juggernaut rips him in half. Yeah. In the second yeah. One. It, it's not as, <laughs> it wasn't as visceral. It, it felt more bouncy. The uh, the uh, I, I think that's I think that's the Marvelification. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure that it could yeah. be, that could be part of a crunch or something like that, you know. The yeah. uh, the ancient samurai, uh, Deadpool. Oh, he yeah. has both the little hands <laughs> yeah. and when he bows, and I'm like, that's fucking hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> uh, nice pool. That was uh, a good bit. Too funny. Love that. That was really good. Yeah, there were a lot of them. I thought it was pretty cool. I um, wasn't sold on the Deadpool core. I thought that was kind of. Yeah, it, it, I've read books, so I've I know all of them. Not all of them, but I know of I think all of the, them. I think they were like fun for the the bit, but like the the fight itself just wasn't. Yeah, yeah. How do you guys was, feel about that one yeah. shot? I think it, which it's one cool that in the, the alleyway the one, where they're fighting yeah, all the, the other hand through the bus. Um, okay, yeah, yeah. Ah. I think it's I a, liked it. I think it's a great shot, but. I do, you know, kind of what Nathaniel was just saying, the dust cloud around the fight. Like, there's just so much going on. It's just kind of so much to comprehend. Yeah. And so you don't really get to yeah. see. There's no, like, miraculous kill shot or, like, you know, a couple of good ones. They're just all, like, in such fast succession that it's just, like, I, it's, he's killing, they're killing everybody. Right. And then the bus, mm -hmm. you only get to see, like, half, of, you get to see, like, the top half their bodies, right. like, just going across <laughs> yep. the bus. So it's kind of like, well... And they're bloodying up the windows the whole time they're going across. So it's like, all right, well, I'm not really seeing anything that's happening that's going on in that bus anyways. So what's really funny about the bus part of that shot, though, oh, I've seen is... This. I think I know what you're going to talk about. What? what? The uh, Hugh Jackman, like the Wolverine character model. That is not what I was going to say. Oh, um, I would have to watch this sequence again because I could be very wrong. But I do think 
one of the Deadpools shoots himself <laughs> once they get in the bus. <laughs> but I was watching to the side, and like, because like you said, you can't really see much. And I just was like watching this one Deadpool, and I just watch and pull out a gun. I'm pretty sure it was one of the Deadpools shoots himself. That's fucking hilarious. In the bus, it's very and likely. I caught it. I didn't even it catch that. Small thing that I'm like, I bet they just planted that there and just were <laughs> waiting for someone to go see it because, and I would have to see it again to confirm that. And and please, someone let me know if you also saw that. But I just caught that and I was like, that's hilarious. If that's actually what I just saw, I can almost guarantee you that's thing. what you saw. But I, yeah, I thought so too. I was like, that's really funny. No, uh, there's a there's a clip going around on Twitter where at the end of that scene where they jump out of the end of the bus. And they're and they like stand there and do their hero pose. Oh, oh sure, yeah. and he yeah. gifts. There's well, no, there's a there's Wolverine just sitting there, and it's a fully you can just tell it's a fully CGI model at that sure. point, and he's just going. <laughs> and he looks like a character. Oh, no. Yeah, he looks like a character like, like, like a video dude, game loading screen. A hundred percent, dude. Like <laughs> oh, it is no, that's it is funny. so bad. And like that's you don't awesome. really notice it because you're focusing on Deadpool in the shot because he's making a joke or something. Sure. But yeah, it, it's uh. like once you see it, you can't unsee it kind of thing. <laughs> that's funny. Um I didn't catch the um the original voice of uh, Cowboy Deadpool. That's Matthew McConaughey. Yeah, yeah, I heard so that. I didn't, I didn't realize that until afterwards. Funny. Yeah, exactly. So caught that on the credits, and then was... um, go ahead, go. Ahead. No, no, you, 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 uh, you're good, you're good. Uh, but yeah, so that was funny, and then Lady Deadpool is actually a uh, Blake Lively. So shout out all the Blake. That's what I was gonna there. say. Is like, who's the Lady Deadpool? Because I, I figured that was probably someone, uh, recognizable, but I couldn't tell. Yeah. By the way. But yeah, um, I couldn't tell immediately that I had to read the credits for that. Yeah, yeah. Uh, one cameo that we've glazed over that I thought was amazing was Henry Cavill. Oh, yeah, that was funny. And, <laughs> and on IMDb, his his uh, his Wolverine is called the Cavalrine, I guess, <laughs> is what they named it, which is awesome as well. So uh, I thought that was a really funny, yeah. really funny cameo. So and you get the DC, uh, the DCEU joke with that, where he's like, "We treat you way better than like the fuck." Yeah, or whatever yeah I remember. Like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He said something that was like that. pretty funny. Which, like, hey, man, if I wouldn't mind a, a, a Henry yeah. Cavill Wolverine, that'd be pretty cool. He looks the part. Yeah, I mean, he, he's he's. They should have never taken him off Superman. Oh, yeah. absolutely not, dude. He needs For to be sure. a superhero of some yeah. sort. So the short, I'm sure they're Marvel dropping the bag, pay him, dropping the ball. Yeah. The Marvel will pay him Wolverine some amount of money. Funny too. What did you say? The short Wolverine. The short one? Yeah, yeah. that was good as well. Well, because isn't canonically he's like he's, super short. He is very he's, small. Yeah, yeah. He's not he's not a big he's no. jacked, but he's not that's, like a that's tall person. Why the running scene were when they first land in the void, um, were Hugh Jackman like is on all fours oh, running yeah. at him. Um yeah. that's why he like can do stuff like that he can move like that in the books and stuff like that it's just he's it's because he's so small he's super agile and like all the books and everything like that dude's insane so it was it was it was a little weird seeing Hugh do that but um but yeah he it is cool that they at least put stuff like that in there yeah for sure um any other big thoughts? Do we have any favorite scenes that we have not touched on yet? But I feel like we got we got most um, of the bits. Covered. I don't know if there's a favorite. I'd have to watch it again to really see if something like yeah, really it's pulls so out much. On me. There's back just to back to yeah, back. it just yeah. every like we said, it, it just kind of all constantly builds. Every scene is funnier than the next, or you know, just as funny. And so it's it's uh, there's really no there's no brake pedal. So facts. Yeah, I don't I don't know if I have a funniest scene right or most memorable but um one that I, I i think back on and i can't recall if the robert downey jr robert downey jr news was uh prior to me watching the film or afterwards i believe mm-hmm. um but just the running pool that uh ryan reynolds or deadpool has of them just like signing people on it's like he's, he's gonna have to do this till he's nice oh yeah and so oh, that's yeah. all i thought of when i saw the fucking that's funny as well. rdj being that's brought so back yeah. i was like that's that's disgusting. For sure. But, I mean, still, if it works, they'll milk it, right? So it doesn't work. You oh, almost can't sure. blame them for that. As long as they're making money, apparently they're paying RDJ like $80 sure. million or something like that. 
Yeah, uh, we're two movies. <laughs> I love the I love the jokes online that I've been seeing where it's like the VFX in in um the Avengers movie after RDJ's pay cut and it's like clips of like the CW Supergirl show <laughs> with like no budget. It's like <laughs> terrible CGI effects. Uh yeah. Okay. Uh well then let's get out of here, fellas. Um, you know, maybe we maybe we missed a few bits, but I think we got the whole uh thing in there. Yeah. The whole whole the whole bit together. Um welcome back listeners who skipped over the spoiler segment of the podcast. We're gonna go ahead and throw Deadpool and Wolverine up upon our entropy list. Uh, for those of you who do not know, the entropy list is Backrow Banter's official list of every movie we have reviewed, regardless of genre, regardless of anything else, all on one fantastic list. Uh, this is essentially how we rate our movies rather than do it out of five stars, out of ten, whatever it is. We throw up all the movies we review and see how they compare to one another. If you want to reference the entropy list for yourself, you can do so by checking the episode description where it is linked to my letterbox. Uh, okay, Deadpool 1. Where does that sit currently? 67. It's pretty, pretty high up there. 67. That's a I good spot it was for it. 57? Okay. 67. There you go. Above or below Deadpool is probably the benchmark here. Um, I haven't seen that movie in quite a while, so it's hard to say. I think I know. Yeah, I think I know where I want to go. Okay, let her rip. Um, I'm gonna be at eighty nine. Mm, that's good. Eighty nine. It's lots of below right, blade. right below blade. blade. And, and above and Frozen 2. It's not a bad spot. No, I think, um, you know, after seeing uh, Wesley Snipes in this, it just reminds me of how much I enjoy him and, and kind of those... I, I mean, I refer to them as just like late 90s action movies, but, you know, they, they obviously do tie into the Marvel Universe. It's just nobody really knew it back then. Um, Unless you were, you know... it. There are, if I, I can almost guarantee you, there were so many people that did not know that Blade was Marvel. I'm sure there are still people today that don't sure. know that. Um, mm -hmm. But, um, but yeah, that's like uh, super nostalgic for me. You guys know how I feel about that movie. Um, but I even see things like Wakanda Forever that I actually think I would put this above. Um, Bullet Train is also very on kind of like this. Um, yeah, this kind of vibe. That's what I was looking at. Um, mm -hmm. but once I kind of saw Blade at, at 88, I think that's a, a pretty good, um, kind of gatekeeper for me on this. Um, it gets to go above, you know, like Ninja Turtles, which we just moved up big time, A Quiet Place, which is a killer movie in my mind. Um, Prey and X. So yeah, I think, I think, uh, 89 is a good little spot for it. I don't think this is better than the first one. Um, the first one I think yeah, I'm with you. the first one I think just will hold a lot of nostalgia value for me over the years. It's a better movie. It is, for sure. And it there was a plot. There was, you know, yeah, something to a, to a look at. A hundred percent. Um and then like I said, you also can put this kind of like this trilogy on the same as Galaxy yeah. Guardians, Guardians of the Galaxy, but um Guardians of the Galaxy is such a strong trilogy and if you don't think so we can talk about it um but three i just remember like actually sitting in the theater and having like emotions on what was happening on screen um because mm -hmm. of the the likability of the characters and just you know how much i've grown up with them so um you know i don't think that this will be this or this will be that but i think the deadpool trilogy is a a good little watch i think they put quite a bit of stuff together i'd be interested to see where you guys would put two um but I'm gonna put it at 89. That was a lot of talking for just you know saying 89 a couple times. But I'm gonna go with 89. No man, oh, <laughs> that's all good. Um, I think I'll I'll take you up and go second. So I mean, I, Guardians trilogy is is very underappreciated, right? As as we said earlier, um, in pre pod. So I mean, I, ultimately though, I think I do enjoy this third one more. But I think that's very reason based. Um, so I'm trying to decompartmentalize that. But I mean. <laughs> Tie spot at 89 is is actually I was ballparking 90 91 and actually putting this below Predator um, action movie. However, that one's a staple in like 90s. Arnold, um, a new uh, character or like alien species, right? That's gone on to be very prominent 
for the next 30 something years. Um, so that's, I think that's where I'm leaning. Uh, but then I also, I saw challenge and challenges is a pretty good movie Challenges and different, movie. right, right. Different genre. Right. But then it's like, Oh, subjectively though, from a film perspective, I think I would put this over or I would put challenges for this. Um, so a little redundant, like I said, because we have guardians three at like 50 something. Um, but honestly, I think I'm going to go ahead and put this at 96. 96 below the descent above malignant. Yeah. Not a bad spot. Uh, I'm not too far behind you. I'm going to go 98 below barbarian above uh, Teenage yeah. Ninja Turtles. Yeah, barbarian. That's I'm a good spot, Adam. Back I, was, yeah. I was eyeing that myself. Yeah, it's. Uh, I think I'm going to match you on that. Matter of fact, I'm going to yeah. match you on that. Okay. <laughs> well, what's funny yeah, is up. I was actually going to match Blake at 96. Okay. But now I'll be the only person to be on there at 96. <laughs> yeah. All right. So Nathaniel's 96. Me and Blake are 98. And Ty is 89. That gives us an average rating. Of 95.25, meaning we put it below the descent above Malone. Okay, yes. I was like, it can't be above, fellas. There's no, no I was going to no, say no, that. No. was That's Honestly, I, I don't mind your guys' spots, but the problem for mm-hmm. me is, like, I don't have a strong appreciation for Malignant. I don't think Challengers was, like, anything special. Um, Fablements was okay. La La Land, I don't care about. Pinocchio was pretty dope, sure. and then you get to like Predator, and I think like there's obviously a big value there. Um, mm-hmm. But yeah, I just Frozen um, too. I, I don't. I the only movie uh, in there is The Descent that I would be like, yeah, Descent has to go above this. So I'm okay with that. I got gotcha. you. Cool. Well, there you have it. Uh, Deadpool and Wolverine at 96 below the descent above Malignant. That's going to do it here for the review segment. Uh, our next review segment will have to come in with a little bit of post-pod Adam action because we don't have a movie picked out next week, and I don't think we're going to decide it here in the next 10 seconds. So uh, hello, post-pod Adam. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite host, post-pod Adam here, coming at you with an update on what we're watching next week. Uh, of course, after the episode was done recording, we decided on watching the movie Trap for next week, the new M. Night Shyamalan movie that's coming out this weekend. So go ahead, check that out in theaters, and then join us for our review of Trap next week. Wow, I can't wait to watch that movie. Thank you, PostPod, Adam. Um, where do we go from here? I don't even know. Um, Let's just get out of here. Yeah, bye, yeah let's get out of here. We're not doing it's what late. you're watching. Um, if you yeah. send an email, we'll look at it next week. And then uh, if you, uh, if you really um, you, we'll also look at guys, it next week. Guys, quick, quick thoughts on RDJ coming back to, to play Dr. Doom. Um, what? You either fucking die hero, you live long. That's a commitment. That's <laughs> he, died a he died the hero. He died the hero. That's such a statement in life, though, with the MCU. Like, just... Just let people go. Uh, do you know where that's Please. from? You either Just die a hero or let yourself go. live long enough to be the villain. And I know this because I watched it after I watched uh, Deadpool and Wolverine. It's from The Dark Knight. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. yeah. But it's just so funny. It's one of those phrases that I feel like has become ubiquitous, like Sweet Summer Child. <laughs> like, no one talks about that that's from Game of Thrones or whatever. Like. Mm-hmm. It's just it, it, people use it outside of the, the context of the Dark Knight. Now they just yeah. like use it as everyday that's, like trope. That's just kind great of writing right there, Nathaniel. I, it is that. best superhero <laughs> movie. Uh, yeah, we gotta but, get um, that on here. That might be my birthday for sure. All right, let's get out of here. But yeah, man. I mean, overall though, yeah. they just no. I saw that and I was like, what are we doing? And why? I yeah, hope it's it. just too soon. I hope, it, I hope it's not. He's nothing like it. I think it, it could be interesting if he plays him like completely different to Iron Man. Like if he comes in there and just acts as like just acts. I don't know. Gives like a, a Joaquin Phoenix and Joker esque performance or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Where like it's I mean, just, it, it's just it, a completely different character. It's, it's still RDJ, but 
it's just it's just the principle. Well, that's it's what the I know, man. Is it going to work? Yeah, probably. Is it, is it going to do a good job? Yeah, work. probably. And is is, it, is the movie going to make money? Yeah, probably. But of course it will. <laughs> right. Why he is the principle? You know, man. I'm, I'm just. Man. I'm so happy my world wrestling entertainment is making <laughs> these moves. You know, just like bringing yeah. the rock back. Yeah. All right. Well, I just wanted your guys' quick thoughts if you guys had any, because that's been a big topic recently. Okay, let's get out of here. Uh, follow the show. Oh, wait, before I get to that, of course, this is a Mags Up podcast. Uh, go right, follow people over there at Mags Up. Uh, shout out all of them. Their, their link is in the episode description. Uh, follow the show. Follow us on Twitter at Banter on Instagram at Backer Banter Pod. Our YouTube is just Backer Banter. Um, yeah. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at H24 and on Letterboxd at H. Uh, Nathaniel. You can find me on Twitter and Instagram at Nathaniel Gingrich or NS Gingrich. Figure it out. Tyler? Uh, you can find me on Instagram, Letterbox, and X, all Tyler Vidalis, V I D A L E S. Blake. Um, Letterbox, Blake Holder, PlayStation, uh, Xbox, Mr. Water Coolers. Um, on there playing Mortal Kombat. I've um, been occasionally diving in NCAA 25. Um, on a quick Mortal Kombat news, I don't know if this up last time, but they announced um, the new combat pact, and Ghostface is actually going to be one of the characters. Wow. Yo. So That's that was funny. like very important to me. Mortal Kombat, nice. one of my favorite video game series. Scream, one of my favorite horror series, right? So yeah, that was really cool. So um, that'll definitely be a, a character that I'm going to I bet he plays like the Joker from that. Yeah, just Injustice slippery, too. Right? Well, yeah. that and he's like going to be like yeah. very like he's got the stab. Yeah. So yeah, it's very, yeah. very. I'm more curious his knife. how the intro dialogue on that's going to be. Yeah. And like, cause, uh, in essence, Ghostface can be body as we know, right. right? So it's probably going to be a various of. Yo, he just he just should, should be really cool. He so. just like he like pulls like I don't know something out of their body and he's just like what's that. <laughs> <laughs> to the scary yeah, it should be cool, man. Uh, Adam, I already went. The tie, us out of here. Oh. No, we're we're we're, oh, we're all good. Yeah, Tyler. we're out. Oh, right right one went. Yep. yep. Thanks all right, for yeah, we're, Thanks we're, for support. Catch us next week, man. We'll be RB. just talking about it we don't have to go crazy because we're obviously recording but um did you see doc's tweet today i i did what are your thoughts nuts dude nuts um and if you want to plead the fifth here i don't care no i don't care he's a pedophile and i'm fine talking bad about him and i'm not really gonna support him at all um no one it's like dude it's only been like a month like Way yeah, I thought for like, sure it was going to be way that everybody too, and I him think. from the initial video just made it seem like he was like going to be like, I mm. would think at least like six months. Sure. Oh, minimum, you know, minimum dude. come out at the like, new year or something like that. But maybe he just doesn't want to. Maybe just he's and, just like and like I, I personally will never support him again. Um, But I know people will. Um, And like. For like I don't know like if if you want any chance at reconciliation, um, because yeah, if you want any chance at that, like dude, give it six months to a year at minimum. There just there like, also you, needs to be. I was just watching a video on it because I didn't see the tweet. I literally just learned uh -huh. it from a video on YouTube, um, algorithm, and uh, yeah, and we were talking, but the guy on there said that like. If I'm ever going to go anywhere close to Doc, like, I need to know everything. Like, there needs to be full-blown transparency. Mm. I need to know if it's, like, okay for me even to, like, morally support you in some kind of way. Or, sure. sorry, not morally. I guess morally. But, like, my morality needs to stay intact. Because, like, yeah. he he was a big, like, piece of, like, why I even liked streaming in the first place. Right. And so... Sure. I mean, um, yeah. You know, there's a lot of influence there. But, yeah, like, if you... 
if like if everything is like 100 percent true like because like in my mind they're also like where's the criminal charges i know people can get paid off and everything like that but like like a, a settlement outside of court you know could have happened or something like that but like where's the legal repercussion if something actually happened so from his tweet that he put out before he like went into his hiatus yeah i'm gonna call it yeah. that i mean it was a month long um he admitted to dming the minor but right nothing, nothing came to fruition and so i don't know what legal repercussions there are if nothing actually happened i don't know if it's like attempted like sure communication or something There's like gotta that be like, some I, kind of grooming know. charge involved there like i i don't know i don't either nothing ever physically happens i i don't know what the charges yeah. are there I, I it might it might be a gray area legally uh, yeah. i think of chris D'Elia which, grooming which underage sucks. girls a couple years back and like he obviously never went to jail or anything like that even though he came out and fully admitted it um you saw so, him didn't you chris D'Elia? yeah dude yeah. i like met i like met him i like yeah. got vip tickets to did you delete show. that like, fucking picture i did it's off my instagram i'm pretty sure yeah <laughs> Um, <laughs> uh, it's a good PR dude, move. What are we talking about right now? Thank you, thank you. Uh, Doctor Disrespect, do you remember all that from like a month ago? No, I'm lost right now. Uh, so Doctor Disrespect is like a really big streamer, like top five in the world. Um, and it came out like a month ago that he got caught up like talking to a 17 year old, and sometimes it would like err on the side of inappropriate, and then like, and then there were plans to meet at TwitchCon <clears throat> or whatever. Yeah, like, literally, right. like, the company, the gaming organization that he, like, helped build, the dev company that are, like, building this game is called Midnight Society. Like, they fired him publicly on uh, X. Like, it was crazy. And uh, he just put a tweet out today with, like, a, the picture is basically you looking at him. So it looks like you're looking across the table. And on your side, there's checkers. And on his side, there's chess. And... And Nathaniel just said, like, the comments were, like, burning down. And so I was like, what is happening? <laughs> yeah. So now we got, like, on just, like, you know. The number one. I just wanted to see what Adam's thoughts number were. Number one, everyone was just like, why would you post a photo where it makes it look like you're playing someone? The other person yeah. is, is, like, younger. Oh, it's like a kid. <laughs> yeah. That like, is yeah. fucking yeah, exactly. hilarious. <laughs> like, yeah. Chess yeah. is the, le- the, the <laughs> one you play, or checkers are the one you play before you play chess when you're a kid. So now it just makes you look like you're playing a kid. That is insane. 100%. <laughs> That's insanely 100% funny. 100% is what that photo makes me think. Oh, my God. Yeah, I, I don't know, man. It's hard like no matter what like you you say you know what what actually happened and like i i don't know yeah it's if it's fucked knew, up either he way. knew if he knew she was 100 percent and pers- and continue to pursue it like that is just like that's the baseline if i it's, like, couldn't it agree more thing, it's like, fu- it's fucking he lied, insane she lied to him or yeah. like whatever and just, yeah and well, it's just like to to for this like not the it makes me think he he's like not necessarily like a good person. Like he had openly admitted to cheating on his wife, and I don't know if this is the same situation if they line up. But either way, like I'm sure they got to be close. I, I think the they well that was like 2019 like ish. Yeah, I don't know. When remember. when that when that whole thing happened, uh, I think that was like 2019, 2020 maybe when he took like a few months off for that. Um, and this I think happened the 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 stuff he's in hot water for now happened i think in 2017 or 2018 insane Um, well like i mean did you see this stuff about kai sinet's camera guy no dude kai like so his his like main guy like his day one he's like the guy that helped kai get like off the ground with streaming has been there since day one he just found out kai just found out that he was talking to a 17 year old as well no <laughs> dude like dude dude kai like like literally broke down cried on stream it was insane wow dude yeah, was like tough. beat up by yeah. it right. and then yeah. um he was saying that this girl did lie to him mm. in the beginning but there's proof that he, he then found, found out, out and, and continued going. the information yeah. and so kai was like dude. get the fuck out of here dude He's like, I get it wow. if somebody lies to you. All right. But the second yeah, yeah. you find out, you get the fuck out of there. I'm probably going to the police station. Right, right. I'm probably right. going to the police and saying, listen, 
I got lied to. This is what There's happened. inappropriate sure. stuff. You know, get it like uh, super way ahead of it, and then just kind of let the chips fall because that's fucking that's, dude. Yeah, I mean, what a wild slope. Blake, Blake, by the way, you're not on your mic. You're on a laptop or something. Uh, yeah, Cody Ko is the other one you recently got me now. That come out. Uh, it still sounds like you're on a laptop. Um, Cody Ko is also. I don't know that name. He's he's more like a my generation kind of thing. He's probably like 27 now. I don't know. He's uh, yeah, I don't know. Either. Pretty, he he got famous on Vine and then oh. kind of rolled that into some YouTube, um, like reaction stuff. Um, him and his partner Noel Miller, um, not partner like they're together, like partner like you know, business. But anyway, partner, partner like yeah, his YouTube partner, whatever you want to call it. Uh, started like content creation channel together and had some successful shows and have kind of like evolved their content to match. They, they've stayed relevant for a while, um, but it came out recently after a few, after a couple of years of rumors that he slept with like another YouTuber who was like, got, was on the come up when she was like 17 and like hooked up with her at a party basically. And then it was like someone else came out and said, hey, like I told Cody at that party that she was 17. He was like, oh, OK, cool. Thanks for letting me know. And then he still did it. And then so it's kind of like come out that like that all went down. So, uh, yeah, a lot. I guess a lot of people going underage recently. I, I don't know what's going on. Dude, it's crazy. Even um, Nuts. Mr. Beast Boy, Chris. Oh, I don't know. I, so I haven't I heard. I haven't heard what's going on with that. Well, so I don't. I've sorry, sorry. Also, I don't things. know if he or she changed their name or whatever. But uh, I think it's Ava now, right? Okay. Um, I think that's what it is. But they got caught up, uh, like getting caught up in like some pedophilia shit, yeah, and then originally, Mr. B said he knew nothing about it. And now there's like proof that they were on a server together, like actively talking inappropriately when they knew that there were younger kids on the server. There's like full like comments yeah. and everything like that. So they're saying you did. Know. Yeah, I think so. Like, uh, hold on, Adam just muted. So you're so low for me. I I think you might be on that mic, but you're like really quiet. I you can't hear Blake at all. Oh, no. No. Can you hear me? I can hear you. I just heard that. Yeah, you're you're really quiet though. So you might have to turn up your microphone gain potentially. Um or oh, or on Discord. Yeah, I got him turned up me? as high as possible on Discord. Yeah, yeah. I, I do too. Can you guys hear me or no? I can, I can yes, now. But you're really quiet. Okay. This should be from this mic though. Yeah, yeah like you can try turning up the gain a little bit. Yeah. You still hear me? Yeah, yeah. we got you. There you go. That's yeah, that's better. Is this any better or no? Yeah, yeah, that's better. better. You're, you're good right now. Okay. There. Yeah, I don't know what the fuck is going on. I could. Um, I literally couldn't hear you at all. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I kind of jumped in a little bit when I underage and like conversation going on yeah that's that's unfortunate it's wild dude there's so much of it coming out but like i don't know i on one hand though i do hear you not aware and you've been lied to that's one thing you're, cut, you're, you're, you're in and out Blake. yeah you're cutting in, in and out real bad for me might be that wire again we should get you a new one You think um you think Mag's up will front that for the money? Just a new USB mic. Let uh, us uh let us get a card. Mic wire. You know? Let us really expand this thing. Yeah. See if you get a small business loan. Yeah. Uh you do know. you have me now or am I still breaking up? No, we got you better, better now. Okay. Yeah, I don't know what's going on, fellas. Um, but yeah, in terms of them, and like Ty said, you gotta just. You can't be lied to and like still. You gotta, you gotta jump. It's like the Josh Giddy. You're, you're, you're coming. Yeah, you're still out. like, you're still in and out now. Um, 
try turning the gain a little bit down on whatever microphone you're using. Maybe you're clipping. I know uh, Blake mentioned the wire is kind of busted. Is it on um, his good microphone? The one like we got when we first started? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm. Yeah, it's uh, Sorry, one, Blake. Yeah. I can't tell. I, I don't know if you're home or if you're in Milwaukee. I think he is in Milwaukee, but I think he brought his gear. Nice. Yeah, it looks like it, yeah. I did bring my gear, but yeah, I, I am. But did, can still breaking up here or what? Yep. Yeah. I think that time it was internet, though. Yeah, <laughs> the other times, time, I don't know. That time, I don't think it was your mic. I think that was internet. But now you're now you're quiet a little bit. Okay. I think we... um. Remember, I can turn you up, though. Hang on. Might be good. I may just go off AirPods. If this is like too much of a hassle. Yeah. Yep. Let's just give yeah, it a maybe shot. Just do that. Yeah. Because I did not hear any of that. Yeah. We heard if this is too much of a hat. And then it was. Literally <laughs> everything that you say is you're leading up right to the important piece and then you cut out. I know. I know. <laughs> and I'm like, um, what the fuck? <laughs> so let me look at getting you a new cable. Like, we can get that ordered. Um, AirPods, it is. All right, you guys have me still? Yeah. Yep. Okay. This is probably my AirPods microphone. Let me put my other AirPod in. For sure. Is it still clipping here, or can, is it should at least fucking coming through? Yeah, we got you coming, coming through. through. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll just... I think it is that cable. I think you're right, dude. Let me... I'm looking, trying to find out, make sure I have the right one, but... Which I don't know what type of cord this is, though. It's probably... I think it's the type... A? It's I think a, it's a Type B. It's the old school one. Yeah, I think it might be a B. It's like actually. the printer. No, I think it's the printer. Old school. Yeah, yeah, it's, yeah. it's you, mini mini USB Type B. Yep. Okay, I will make sure that's ordered. Here, I'll pull it up. All right. Yeah, just send it to me, bro. I'll, I'll send you the money, Adam. Moral of the yeah, story yeah. is just go for MILFs, and you'll never have this problem. So There you go. True. I loved it. I love that. Yeah, super true. Um, like I was saying, Adam, that's kind of like the Josh Giddy situation. That was some that's months back. A hundred percent. That's what it reminds me of. Where, as well. Yeah. Ultimately, I mean, he was able to get out of that because he was lied to. But it's like even that, though, the optics sometimes are just crazy because it's like, how well, could you spend time? Like, I feel like after talking to somebody for like fucking six hours, you'd be like, OK, this, she's not an adult. A hundred percent. You know what I mean? That's kind of my take, though. But so what do here's. I know? Here's my thing on the Josh Giddy situation. It is weird. It's for sure weird because, like, it is very borderline on, like, he was in Oklahoma, and I think the age of consent there is 16, but, like, did she lie to him? Because it seems like there's that video of them dancing in the club, and it's like, okay, well, how the hell did she get in the club? Like, uh, right. and, and So I think, at that point, you're already assuming everybody's 21. Right, which is what happened right. to so, Patrick Kane, sure. I'm pretty sure, is Patrick Kane, when he was in hot water for, for um, getting together with an underage girl, it was like, well, we met at a bar where I was right. ID'd. So, like, I, you know, that, that whole thing went down. Um, so... You know, that that's where, like, the Josh the Giddy thing is like, okay, well, this seems kind of weird, but then apparently he came forward right away when it happened to the Thunder, and, like, they kind of tried to handle the situation as best they could before it went public, and, like, I don't know. Mm -hmm. I also think th by the time it went public, it was a couple years after it all happened, from my understanding, um, or at least I think that's what I remember hearing, and if that's the case, then he was, like, 20 or 21, I think, or maybe even 19. Like, he was really, really yeah, young and not he's, saying he's that makes right him now. okay. Yeah, exactly. He's still sure. only, like, 21 or 22. And so not saying, like, that makes it acceptable at all. Like, you still got to realize, like, there's there's a line there at 18. But, um, mm -hmm. you know, it's like it, the age gap wasn't that crazy. So, like, I don't know. It, that That's a very gray area um, where, sure. like, and, like, and ultimately, like, obviously, the police did an investigation, the NBA did an investigation, and nothing's come of it. So, I mean, if both of them have investigated it and the, he's still playing in the NBA, then I'm assuming they have figured everything is fine. Um, so, but at the end of the day, like, the Josh Giddy memes of him being a pedophile still go around to this day. And, like, I don't know if those will ever go away. <laughs> so, like, yeah. you know. But, yeah, that's definitely what it reminds me of, for sure. For sure, bro.